What's up? Welcome back to an episode of Invest in You. It has been a long time, but we're getting back into it. And in this video, we'll be discussing the things that are chips. No, not the Pringles, not the Simba Chippies we get. It is semiconductors. The thing that is in everything, even your electric toothbrush, has a semiconductor, a chip in it. So, in this video, we'll be discussing my four most favorite picks, plus an honorable mention of a chip, hashtag semiconductors, informal word is chips. Okay, before we get into all these ones I mentioned, they are companies that I think are the best players within the chip industry, but I am not a financial advisor. So please, these stocks I only mentioned so that you can go look at them and see if you wanna buy, sell, or do something with it. You know, I don't know, your decision. In the end of the day, these are not buy, hold, sells. Read the disclaimer in the bottom, but let's get into it. Company stock number one is the one that makes it all happen in the start. This is the company ASML. Now, what ASML does is they make the machines that make semiconductors. They are the all-powerful at making the machines. They hold the power and the only machines that can make these semiconductors so they own some of the best patents for lithography, which is the machines that use light and all types of gases to make semiconductors and gases like helium, argon and all the cool and interesting things. But bottom line is they make the machines that companies need to make semiconductors and they are by far the moat market leaders. Now remember a moat is something a company has over all its competitors that makes it unique okay that everyone wants to go to them for it and this is their machines so asml has an in net income year over year growth of 9.09 percent they have a cash flow year over year growth of just over 53 percent they have a peg of 1.88 which for me that is great remember go watch my peg video where i look at companies between one and two except tesla maybe because that is just great growth and then obviously they have a profit margin of 30.5 percent which is great and the great thing about asml is also that they do dividends they have a dividend yield of 0.49 percent it might not be a lot but it is good within the semiconductor industry now who buys ASML's machines? And yes, it is TSMC or TSM is their ticker. They are by far the mammoths when it comes to manufacturing semiconductors. Now, in semiconductor industry, you, you'll hear two words always. You hear fabless and foundry. Now, fabless companies, they design the chips and then get companies like TSMC to manufacture it. So hence, TSMC is a foundry. So they, a foundry makes the chips, a fabulous company just designs them. The crazy thing about TSMC is, think about it, all advanced chips, okay, in the world. So that is like cars, that is supercomputers, that is graphics cards, all of them, okay. 92% of those chips get made by TSMC, okay. No other companies, Samsung has like 8% of that and then Intel, uh, you know, uh, something else, I don't know. but. The big thing is TSMC has 92% of the manufacturing, 92% oh, of all advanced chips gets made by TSMC. That is their moat, that they hold the market at the moment. Okay, so TSMC has a net income year over year growth of 59%. They have a cash flow year over year growth of just over 42%. And they have a PEG of 1.93, which is just in that ballpark of one to two. And then of course they have a profit margin of 30, just over 37%. And their dividend yield is also quite great, which is 1.59%. Alrighty, so if TSMC is the foundry, then looking at the fabulous types of companies, and that is the next one, yes it is AMD. Okay, AMD led by Lisa Su as CEO is great, okay. Now, they focus a lot on gaming and the data center type chips. That is their focus area, but they design all types of chips. And a lot of their chips do actually get made by TSMC. Also, AMD has a partnership with Tesla, where they also help make the chips in those cars. So, you know, a little bit of intertwinedness there with some 
great company in my opinion. Okay, but where the proof is in the pudding with AMD, let's chat about their net income year over year growth. Get this, their year over year growth for their net income, okay, so this is now the last year growth, is 657.62%. Yes, I double checked that because I was like, that cannot be, that is true. Okay, then their cash flow year over year growth is 117%. That is really, really good. So then you'd be like, oh, okay, so this company is very, very expensive. But guess again, their PEG is a mere 1.32. Okay, with those types of year over year growths and a PEG like that, they have a profit margin of just over 26%. Okay, and then the next behemoth, okay, is NVIDIA. NVIDIA, which focuses as an AI company and a GPU company, meaning a graphics card company. And yes, NVIDIA is going to be in a future video where I chat about metaverse stocks. Okay, but for this sake, for chips, yes, they design most of their chips and then they have them manufactured by other companies. Now, NVIDIA for many years held, you know, the GPU market and they still do. AMD is fast approaching and penetrating that market, but no one gets close to NVIDIA's GPUs. And NVIDIA is also going into the autonomous driving um, industry. They now also have their own AI driving system that they're going to sell to automakers that they can buy and implement in their cars. And then they're also designing chips and uh, graphics cards dedicated for that purpose. And then the most biggest, uh, that's a very great English, but the most biggest thing of NVIDIA and is their possible acquisition of ARM technologies. Now, ARM Technologies, what they do is they design chips and then they sell those designs or those, those patents to companies to use. Or they partner with companies to design great chips. But they're not like AMD where they design it and then you, they sell it and stuff. They sell just the designs. Now, if NVIDIA can acquire ARM Technologies, a lot of chips, like Apple's chips, okay, a lot of Intel's chips are designed by ARM. So it's a crazy, crazy deal. Now there's a lot of legal stuff going on about it. If they get it right, it's gonna be huge. If they don't, not the end of the world, you know, but it's, uh, that'll be amazing. But their net income year over year growth for NVIDIA is just over 109%, yes, triple digits. And then their cash flow year over year growth is just over 22%. They've got a great ma a profit margin of just over 33%. Alrighty, and then my honorable mention is Qualcomm. Now Qualcomm, they focus mainly on wireless technology. So they make chips for the 5G industry, which is growing significantly. They have double digit, uh, double digit net income growth year over year and cash flows, and they are really performing significant strides into the market of wireless chips. But yeah, so those are my chip stocks, my semiconductor stocks, okay? It's an industry that is booming. All electric vehicles will need advanced chips. Your toothbrush has, your, yeah. your toothbrush has a chip in it. Literally, your microwave, your toaster, your fridge, your anything that gets electricity from A to B through a device probably has a semiconductor in it, okay? LEDs, okay? LEDs that are most all lights today are semiconductors. Semiconductors, oh wow, I've said semiconductors a lot in the past five minutes. Chips are amazing, okay? And they power the world, and that's why the chip shortage at the moment is huge, and it's a big industry, so have a look at it, okay? I would say if your portfolio does not look into chip stocks, you know, what are you looking into? Cool. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any recommendations on topics you want to discuss, drop it down in the comments box. Hit like, hit subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.